Mr. Rumbold. Uh, I decided to do this video for my final project and since I didn't have much time in my B to talk to you personally, I'm gonna talk uh, by video why I think religion is necessary for a civilized society. So I think religion is defined as a specific fundamental set of beliefs and practices generally agreed upon by a number of persons or a sect. And this definition is according to the dictionary.com. Religion is present for a significant time in society and has helped shape the course of the human population. The definition of a civilized society refers to how well the population will respond to certain laws imposed by the government or the church. Major advantages of having a religion are that it creates a common ground between politics and the population. The laws imposed by the church are generally correct and the sense of unity brought by the church allows for social order within a community. On the other hand, the church has caused major wars like with the Christian Crusades and certain religions have been persecuted because of their beliefs like the Jews in World War II. Although religion may be a major cause of conflict, the overall purpose of religion is to unify people and teach the world how to live life in a righteous way. So the main problem with religion, in my point of view, was, that, was the wars that it created due to the chase of certain groups and the uncontrollable amount of power that religion has over people. A civil society is one that should not seek war. Contradicting, contradicting this thought a bit, the United States is known for being pretty civil but it's involved with many wars. Nevertheless, religion has generated wars. The famous crusade is a proof of an uncivilized society. The Christian Church saw the expansion of Muslim faith as a threat to the power of the Church. For that reason, they incivically sent followers of the Church to kill people in the name of God. It is very easy to say that this should be done in the name of God, or that America is a Christian land. Since the, since the Church has much power, some politics use the Church to gain votes, and this is uncivil in the eyes of the Christian God. Other religions that have caused war or suffering are the Islam religion. The expression Allah Akbar, meaning God is great, exists in Muslim language. Some ultra fanatics of this religion use this expression in the name of terrorism. This expression is not present in the Quran but it is present in other sacred texts of the Islam religion. The other problem with the religion is the amount of power it has. The Catholic Church is equally rich to many big corporations, including Apple, Shell, and General Electric. In the 1500s, the Catholic Church basically dominated Europe and set all the rules within it. Therefore, back then, religion was very important to determine a civil society. Today, religion has less power than before, but many of the common laws derived from Catholic laws. I believe that even before the Church gaining its powers, population already had some set laws like killing is wrong, respecting other space, and etc. These are only some of the problems that religion has brought to society, but I have an overall impression that religion has helped to build the world. Opposing to what a blog post by Ron B.C. said, um, the, the post said this, every function that was once performed by religion can now be done by something else. In other, world, in other words, if you want to explain the world, you don't need Genesis, you have science. Or that if you are ill, you don't need a priest, you can go to a doctor. If you feel guilty, you don't have to confess, you can go to a psychotherapist instead. If you are depressed, you don't need faith, you can take a pill. So, I believe religion is essential to give support to the population. The church is the easiest way for everyone to have access to to without having to pay a lot of money. Like for example with drugs, some people don't have money to have a proper treatment with a therapist so they look for the church as a support. The Christian church has many programs that will help addicts with drugs or alcohol. I know there is support centers but those are mainly in most economically developed countries and some least economically developed countries don't. So religion may be a way to help addicts to stop their, vi uh, their vices. In the Bible it says, they replied, Believe in Lord Jesus and you will be saved, along with everyone in your household. Acts 16.31 If people seek Jesus, then they can be saved. The Bible is, is the all-time bestseller, so just interpret the fictitious message to your personal life and all the answers will be there in the Bible. 
Other religions also help to build a civilized society. Buddhism, for example, has as its main goals to renounce the material life and seek nature. By seeking nature and finding inner peace, we will never be hurting others or going to war or taking advantage of others. Buddha is the example of the civil moral person. Buddha had all he needed and still decided to seek enlightenment. The Eightfold Paths, for example, are a simple rule that all humans should follow. A constitution is extremely important for a civil society, but the Eightfold Path, as well as the Ten Commandments, are the summary of the major worldwide rules. If a person decides to live by the teachings of these three religions, then a society will be civil. Hinduism, for example, talks about karma. If you do something wrong, then you will have a bad karma, but if you do something good, it will bring you a good karma. Having a good karma is important, and you can only build a good karma by being civil. And so to conclude, the main purpose of religion is to educate others in favor of a better world. Intermediately, religion often fails to achieve this purpose. Religion fails to achieve this purpose mainly because of, greed, of the greedy of some of its leaders and also other factors like maintaining power. A famous example is oppression of gays in the Christian church. The church can't be in favor of this or condoms because it was built on the foundation of marriage between man and woman. For this reason, it receives a lot of criticism for not modernizing itself, but I believe if it does, then uh, the Catholic Church will lose a lot of its power. But overall, I think that a society without religion wouldn't be able to function correctly. People would lose the sense of community and there would not be a place to hold when nothing goes right. Whenever I have no more options, I often pray and hope that God will save me. Others uh, feel comfort in religion and work there, meaning that religion has also opportunity for jobs. Religion sets the basic rules by which a society should live and the government should take care of the rest like the policemen and education to maintain a civilized society. To build this utopian society, a work of religion and the, gov and the government shall be done. Okay, thank you, bye.